Oh, f sorry. I was so bad under pressure. Hi, I'm Daisy Aker Jones, and we're going to play a game of truth or where. Oh, thank God. Okay, truth. Ooh, what's a memory from filming Twisters that will stick with you forever? Oh, that's a great question. We were filming Twisters in Oklahoma in the height of tornado season. One of the, the best memories, I think, was there's a scene I have with Glenn Powell, who's my co-star in the film, and we are like sat on the top of a truck, like eating burgers. So it was already a great scene for me. As we were doing it, an actual, it's called a mesocyclone, but they also call it the mothership. It's a type of cloud, which I believe is like a tornadic cloud. It looked like a spaceship and um, it later formed into a tornado. So we had to leave the set because it was getting a bit hairy, but that was pretty sick. I'll fling it, Matt. I'll fling it to you. Oh, okay. Oh, another truth. What's the last white lie you told to get out of a situation? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. I love games. Oh, okay. I'm really scared of the dares. Where? Okay. I'm so thrilled. This is a beautiful dress. This is a Gucci dress I wore um, to the Golden Globes. I got nominated, which was so cool. And uh, it was the first time I could actually go in person because the year before when I got nominated, I came through Zoom, which was hilarious because I took hours to get ready to literally be you know, on screen for about two seconds just to do that. So it was really magic to actually go. I think it was my first proper awards ceremony. And this is a Gucci dress. And I remember just like thinking it was the most spectacular gown. It was like a proper gowny dress. Yeah, that was that was a real special one. Oh, sorry. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Another wear, another Gucci moment. This one is uh, recent. This was at the BAFTAs. I loved this dress. I thought it was so gorgeous and cool. And I love Sabato, who's the new Gucci designer. I think he's so amazing. And I saw this dress. I went to the show that I saw the person walking it, the model. And I was like, oh God, if I could wear that dress, that'd be cool. No, oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Another wear. I'm really dodging those dares. This is great. Oh, I, again, I loved this dress. This was a Vanity Fair. We actually like, we didn't know if we were gonna wear it. I remember I tried a few dresses and last minute they made this like custom sort of nude bodysuit that I think disappears kind of perfectly. So cool. I think this was maybe one of my all time faves actually. Come on, give me a dare or truth. Hi, I manifested it. Okay. Oh, now I'm, now I'm regretting it though. Describe your male co-stars in one word. Glenn Powell, Texas. Oh, so Sorry, Glenn. Glenn Powell, sexy. Paul Meskel, Irish. No, Paul Meskel, cool. Oh no, he's a dweeb. Sorry, he will, he, and he'll know that. Paul Meskel, um, real. Jacob Elordi, suave. Andrew Garfield, um, fun. Truth. What's one thing you're incredibly not chill about? Pretty much everything. I'm incredibly not chill about posting on social media. There's been so many times where I've posted something, got it wrong, had to delete it, and been like in a flat. I'm really not chill about it. It's the truth. Have you seen the meme surrounding this image? And what are your thoughts? Yes, I have seen the meme around this. It's kind of wild, considering the innocence behind it. So I was having kind of an out of body experience at the Met Gala. So Paul had said like, you know, come and meet me um, and we'll, we could do it together, which was, you know, cause for, we're such good friends and it was such a cool thing to be able to, to go together. But uh, he was quite late. So I was sort of stood at the entrance of the Met Gala and when you go, there's like this sort of pen where you're kind of held and then you go to and do the carpet. You have to like scan your barcodes. <laughs> I looked like I was working there. So I was like, hi, Sarah Jessica Parker, just scan your barcode to the left. Like, um, and then I, I did this sort of Vogue live interview and unfortunately that became a bit of a meme as well in its own right but finally Paul came with Biebs and we were waiting and um, did the carpet together and honestly he's my pal so he's probably just going like hey there she is. The thing I find most sad about this though is like I'm again I had been in Covid for most of the time doing press on Zoom this was like one of the few times I'd actually been in person and it was still early days 
So I didn't know how to pose like on a red carpet. So I think what's what's most tragic about this really is the like is the deep the deep leg cross that I kind of committed to in every photo. You live, you learn. Can't win them all. And um, the dress was great, and the Met was great, and it was cool to go. Oh, oh! If you could write a role for yourself, what would it be? Honestly, whoever this is, this kind of country and western vava boom makeup and hair, I'm like, give me that role. That would be so much fun. Woohoo! Truth. What is your funniest celebrity encounter? Oh, that's a great one. I think my most memorable was Chris Martin from Coldplay. So I met, I was at a party and Chris Martin was there. And it was like, I, I, I don't really get starstruck very often, but I really genuinely didn't know what to do with my legs, hands or face. And I, he was super nice about it, but I just sort of was like, I love him so much. I, I loved Coldplay, best night of my life seeing them when I was 15. And he was super sound. There, okay. Can you throw a lasso? How dare you? All right, who are where? You wanted me to throw this lasso, so I'm gonna try. Where do we even begin? Okay. Like, no. I've got really long nails, it's really hard. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, and then... Woo! <laughs> I got okay, you! Okay, and see.